Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about I/O program. That is input output program. That means how to input a character from the user or how to output the data to the output device. So let's see first of all the program for inputting one character from the keyboard. So this is how it works. The program is written where we'll be starting with the origin address to be hundred. Then the first instruction written is SKI. Now you should be aware about the instruction SKI. Skip on input flag. So SKI, skip on input flag because we are knowing that there are two flags available with us. One for input that is FGI and another for output that is FGO which we have already discussed into input output system in our basic computer. So SKI, skip the next instruction on input flag. That means if the input flag is one, then skip the next instruction. So this BUN will be skipped off. Consider that input flag is one. So this is skipped off and we would be directly jumping to the INP. So this INP instruction will input a character from keyboard and store it into the INPR and then later on this INPR will transfer the eight bits obtained to the accumulators lower significant bits. So the INP instruction will transfer the data from input device to INPR and INPR to AC. Then later on we are outputting that same character what is there in accumulator because we are knowing out stands for outputting the character. So print the character and the data we had obtained from the keyboard is temporarily stored in accumulator which we want to store it into the memory. So we need to write the STA instruction. So STA will store the content of accumulator to the memory specified by this address CHR and this CHR will have the input what we skew from the input device. So this is a program for reading a character from the input device. Now let us discuss the program for outputting one character. So in that case let us see this program what we are having in that case the program we are loading character from the memory to accumulator by using LDA instruction. Now CHR is having our data. So CHR is having some address data 0057 which we are terming it to be character W. So it gets loaded into the accumulator. Then we are checking the flag output flag FGO. So skip on output flag. If output flag is one then skip the next instruction. So we need not to execute this BUN instruction. So if output flag is one, then skip the next instruction and we would be skipping it to directly out. So it will output the character. But now let us take an example. Consider that output flag is zero. So the next instruction won't be skipped off. So at that time it comes over here that is BUN will be executed. So branch unconditionally to COF. So what is COF? So COF is a label over here. So it jumps to this particular address. Again it will check skip next instruction on output flag. So this will be cycle. So this will be carried out until the output flag is not set to 1. Once it is set to 1 it will output a character. Now out instruction that also you are aware about out instruction will transfer the data from AC to outer register and outer to the output device and it will halt our program. So this is how outputting one character takes place.